What's good YouTube? I'm Robert with the Crosscut Creations channel. Today we're going to make a few wine displays where the bottle is the centerpiece and two glasses slide into the sides. If you want to see how I made this project, stick around and I'll show you how it's done. Here I am jointing one edge of my board. I don't have a jointer at this time so I made a jointing jig for my table saw and I squared away one edge on that and then I ripped each piece of wood down to two inches wide. You need about six inches in width and about a foot in length for this project. I used curly maple and some cherry for this one in the video. I did batch out a few of these, but uh, for the video's sake, I'm just showing the one. Here's the glue up. It's pretty straightforward. You glue the boards together, clamp it up, and then let it sit overnight. You come back the next day and take off the clamps. Once you get the board out of the clamps, I just take a scraper and take some light passes and try to clean up a little bit of the glue and whatever marks are left over, but then I plane it down to thickness. I am using a template from Bob over at RJB Wood Turner. I will link his video in the description. His template is awesome and incredible. and. I, I, I love working with it. So after I cut out the template, I use some spray adhesive to attach the template to my, my blank, my wine display blank. Here are the five that I did when I batched them out. And after I show those, I cut out the rough shape at the bandsaw. Because of the fast forwarded motion, it looks a little more dangerous than it should be, but because of my camera angle, my fingers were never that close to the blade, so I was being perfectly safe and I knew where I was at all times. After I cut out the rough shape at the bandsaw, I take the blank over to the disc sander and finish sanding down to the line to get my final shape. After I get my final shape, I drill out both sides with a one inch Forstner bit. This is the section where the wine glass is going to slide in. There's two sides, so this is the second side. It's just a little zoomed in. For the middle hole, I use a 1 and 3 eighths inch Forstner bit to drill out the middle hole. That's where the bottle will um, be the centerpiece and this wine display will sit on top of the bottle in that middle hole. After I drill out these three holes, I go ahead and take the blank back to the bandsaw and I cut out the notches so the glasses can slide in and out of the wine display. At this point I'm able to take the template off so I use a heat gun and the template peels right off. 
after I take the template off, I go ahead and put a small round over over each edge. I do that to the top and the bottom. After I get the round over completed at the router table, I go ahead and sand through the grids, 60 grit, 120, 220, and then I come through with some uh, sandpaper and do some hand sanding just to clear away any of the burn marks that were left from rounding over the edges. I use my spindle sander to get on the get the interior holes just a little more smooth and then here's the point where we're able to put a finish on each of these wine displays I used three coats of spray lacquer For video's sake I'm only showing the one and it was at this point that I realized that my camera had died so I couldn't show you any more of the filming so good job me way to make sure that that camera is charged and ready to go hopefully we learned for next time thanks for hanging out with me today this project was a lot of fun I was able to batch out quite a few of them in a short amount of time. These make great uh, gifts for Christmas uh, as, as the holidays are coming up. Uh, so they're easily uh, able to be produced and in a short amount of time. You can make all kinds of combinations. You can make them look like whatever you want. You can use whatever types of wood you want. And there are so many varieties that that you can have and it's just that that's what makes it fun each piece is unique and each piece is fun if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up comment subscribe share with your friends hit the bell so you never miss another video of mine and we'll see you next time